This helicopter seriously made me say, that is incredible. And the reason why was because what they call its dive on target capability. You know, most helicopters fly with a level attitude, but due to the propeller on the back of this helicopter, it can reverse its thrust to maintain a nose pitched down attitude, which Lockheed Martin says can increase lethality by increasing the capability to place rounds on a target. What? This has totally changed the game. Fighter jets and planes overall have always had the capability because they can fly much higher and much faster, but helicopters are just so uniquely capable because they can fly at low speeds, they can land anywhere they want, and they can just hover in space. So this is the problem that the US military was facing, that airplanes and jets can fly so much faster, but helicopters are so capable. So with this helicopter, they have leveled the playing field. The Raider X was designed by the Sikorsky division of Lockheed Martin, and it was designed for the US Army Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Program, or FARA for short. The Raider X was announced in October of 2019, and in March of 2020, the Army selected the Raider X and the Bell 360 Invictus from a field of about five different candidates. As part of the FARA program specifications, the Raider X uses a single General Electric T901 engine, which is a cool capability to only need a single turbine engine. And to my knowledge, the Raider X has the capability of being one of the fastest helicopters to ever be designed. The Raider X is expected to have a maximum speed exceeding 290 miles per hour with a service ceiling of greater than 9,000 feet. And the Raider X has a coaxial rotor system, meaning each rotor spins in opposite directions. Unlike a standard helicopter, which has a rotor system that spins in one direction and needs an anti-torque rotor to counter the torque, the coaxial rotor system allows the need to eliminate the tail rotor, which allowed them to place a propeller on the back. And just this design blows my mind. And the propeller in the back can provide thrust in the forward direction, but it can also switch direction and add thrust going backwards. The requirements of the program were to achieve a combat radius of 434 kilometers, which is approximately 270 miles, which is roughly twice the distance of existing helicopters, which means missions can be operated with less need for forward air refueling. And on Sikorsky's website, which is a Lockheed Martin company, they highlight five different features. The first is precision low speed handling. Raider X's fly-by-wire control and rigid main rotor enable high agility at low speed. And they say it's mission critical because it enables safe operations in complex, obstacle-rich environments close to the ground. And with this point, it's not too different than most other helicopters. Most helicopters are pretty agile at low speeds. So it's cool that this one can do it, but I don't think it's necessarily anything special. Number two is level body acceleration. Raider X can add power to propeller and main rotor to speed up without changing attitude. Helicopters have to tilt their main rotor. And that's true. Typically to accelerate the helicopter, you have to tip the nose forward to start increasing the forward airspeed. And that typically results in a dive. However, the ability to increase that rear propeller means you can maintain level flight and increase speed, which is incredibly cool. They say rapid acceleration in constrained spaces minimizes exposure time to threats, which is true. If you can just turn on that rear propeller and speed it up and get the heck out of there, that's awesome and that increases safety. Number three is level body deceleration. Raider X can reverse pitch on the propeller to slow down. Helicopters have to flare in order to slow down. Once again, this is true. If we're flying along pretty quickly and we need to slow down, we have to tip the disc backwards, which typically causes us to gain a little bit of altitude. You know, we can slow down without much altitude change. However, this ability to reduce the thrust on the rear propeller is incredibly cool and just means the helicopter can maintain level flight. And I really like this part, why it's mission critical. It maintains the pilot's eyes and weapons on the target all the way to the objective. If the nose doesn't have to change pitch at all to control the speed, that truly does allow the pilot to maintain his perspective and maintain the weapons on whatever target they're looking at. Number four is a high turn rate. Raider X's rigid main rotor allows it to execute turns in half the distance of helicopters. Why it's mission critical? It decreases engagement time, increases lethality. They say it allows it to execute turns in half the distance of other helicopters. I'm not exactly sure what they mean and the video shows like a pretty tight turn radius, but most helicopters can turn in a pretty tight turn radius. So I'd like to learn more about what they say about how it's so tight, 
But even that is cool and I think that's great. And especially if you think about like the military application, being able to keep that nose pointed at a target and keep a really tight turn radius is obviously uh, pretty cool and pretty practical for the military applications. And the fifth reason I think is by far the coolest thing, which is dive on target. Raider X can reverse thrust on propeller to slow descent. No helicopter has this ability. Why it's mission critical? Increase lethality by increasing capability to place rounds on a target. I mean what that is so cool you know being able to maintain this nose pitch down and slow down as you're diving to keep the guns and the pilots looking at their target is incredibly cool and a great asset I think that's the coolest part about this helicopter and the other thing they talk about is how this helicopter can hover nose high or it can hover nose low that's something that most helicopters can't do you know if we pitch up we are going to start going backwards and if we pitch down we're going to start going forwards but if this helicopter can hover at different pitch attitudes that's incredibly versatile and i'm not in the military and i'm not a military pilot so i'm just looking at this from the civilian perspective but i think this technology has the potential to be incredibly versatile and really increase the military's abilities the number one thing is helicopters are just so capable and that's why the military loves them However, they've just never been able to compete because they can't go the speed of jets. But with this design, the top speed is significantly faster. Cruising in excess of 250 miles per hour means this helicopter can get in and out of places really quickly and it gets significantly closer to the speed that those jets can fly. And with that ability to hover and move vertically, this aircraft is a total game changer. And this one helicopter makes me reconsider if I want to join the military and it would be to fly this aircraft. If you like this project and you think it's cool, subscribe to my channel and follow along. I'm going to keep posting videos about this. I think this helicopter is so cool. You guys smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I post new videos about this and everything else. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.